Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have NECA's Ash Williams Asylum from Ash vs. the Evil Dead. This was a Starz original series that ended up unfortunately getting cancelled because nobody really watched it. And it's sad because it was funny and just that classical Evil Dead style horror genre. And uh, yeah, this figure looks pretty awesome. I got this from my buddy Josh Pollock, good childhood friend, grew up with him back in Michigan, and uh, he ended up sending me this one in the normal Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead for my birthday, so that was really awesome of him to do that, and I do appreciate that, so again, Josh, if you're watching, thank you. And uh, this is a little read-up on the back of the box, and again, NECA kills it with their, you know, pictures of the figure that are actually on the box itself um they actually pose it now this guy i think i want to try to get a hold of due to the fact that um josh showed me this figure that he picked up and it is super articulated and just awesome like who doesn't want to really he said it's even more articulated than uh marvel legend spider-man which is true when he sent me the picture it was pretty impressive and uh actually i'm going to show you the picture right now So definitely a really cool um, little demon baby man thing. So <laughs> so if you guys are uh, out and about and you see these figures, you know, definitely try to pick them up because it is canceled. So who knows how if they're going to continue producing figures. So let's go ahead and get Asylum Ash out of the package. So we got Asylum Ash out of the box and he looks pretty, pretty awesome. He doesn't come with nearly as many accessories as the last Ash I reviewed, so I will get into what he did come with. Now, he does come with that trusty boomstick of his, um, which you cannot really see because it's blurry. There we go. This one, it's, it looks like it's the same sculpt. It just looks like it's painted better. Got the different shades in the stock. So, yeah, it just looks... A lot nicer. Got that little bit dry brushing on it to give some wear to the barrel and everything. You can never have never have enough double barrel shotguns. <laughs> so awesome there. He does come with a sassafras head. I don't know. It's like a stern. It it looks like Bruce Campbell. It's got the gray in the sideburns and everything. little bit of like wash around his beard area I guess for stubble but it just it's that face that face it, it's Bruce Campbell hands down <laughs> and uh his hair sculpted pretty nice looks like little well, those are actually paint missing on those spots or if it's just little pieces of plastic that just need to be flicked off but yeah really nice head sculpt and then the figure itself comes with a very cocky looking ash face. There's a little smirk. And then he does get like full, you know, 360 with the head. He can look down that much. He can look up. That's about it. <laughs> And it has like this whole asylum outfit's really nice and detailed. It's got like I love how the straps and all the discoloration, the staining to it, it just looks awesome. It's got like little tears, got texture throughout. This whole out part is is rubber. So it's over like a plastic shell or skeleton. On the back, you have more strapping. Gotta have that spot for the shotgun. And this one actually looks to have a little bit better texture on it. Got these like tore up sleeves and stuff, and this is like a rubber as well. And just look how, let's see if let me fold his arm up for a sec. Just look how nasty inside the sleeve is. It's just all stained and gross. Just doesn't look like it would smell very good. And then he's got some slices in his arm. And I don't know if that's just the color of the fabric, or he actually got sliced in his arm and he's bleeding. But I definitely like that. His his arms get. 
decent articulation. I mean, they can go up that far. And I love how the shoulder sort of fits underneath this little rubber coating. So you don't have to worry about damaging the arms. Like that's that's always something for me. I'm with legends and other figures. It's like usually you scratch this top layer of paint on the shoulder and stuff when you're moving stuff. If it's not tooled properly. Um, this arm, you know, he gets the full rotation. He has the uh, sort of like a bicep swivel up there. He's double jointed. Well, it is double jointed, but it's weird. It's like you see, you got it bends up here, and then yeah, you can really, and then you can bend this part. It's it's weird. It doesn't really. That's as far up as this will go. So he does have rotation and bend at the wrist. Looks pretty good. Then this side, he's got the tore up. This is rubber, just like the other side. Little, like, mummy-wrapped arm. And then you get into the actual chainsaw and everything. This whole chainsaw is the same chainsaw we got before. It just seems to, like, literally pops off pretty, pretty easy. And then that just looks like it's painted a little bit better than the last one with the details of the... Part, but also notice that it's sort of separating a little bit. You can't really see because it it's blurry, but there you go. You can sort of see it separating from this part, which I'm surprised to really see that, but it's very, very minimal. So, chainsaw is all dirtied up pretty nice. Let's take it. Take it off to get it out of the way. Then we get into the actual body itself. Now this is all covered. There is really doesn't seem to be like an ab crunch or anything, but he does have a waist swivel just hidden underneath there. So it's basically right here. It's just hidden under these this rubber outfit, which is surprising. <laughs> That it would still be able to move so freely. I just wish there was some ab crunch going on in here. Why Why not? Why not NECA? Why not ab crunch a little bit? I mean, it might squish this and make it look weird. Maybe that's why. Um, and one thing with his legs. Um, like this whole area. Like the whole thing is sculpted and dirty very, very nicely. Like the little slices in the legs. Even look wet. A little bit of bleeding going on in this dirty outfit. And then one of these legs, which one was it? This one had like fuzz and stuff to, stuck to it. Let's see if you can actually see it on camera. Yeah, you can see it. Like it came out of the package with all that fuzz. Like the paint wasn't dry or something. So it made it sticky. So it's one of those things that just makes it super weird now as for like kicking forward you can kick that far out it just doesn't go straight like and then it splits you can go that far so nice amount of movement it's very similar articulation that we got with the last ash. She has the knee that bends this far. His foot can, you know, sort of bend around a little bit. I don't even think it... Yeah, I guess it does pivot. Pivots and bends a little bit. His shoes are a lot better in this one, in my opinion. Um, except I don't know what's going on with this this one. It's all blurry. But now look at that big glob of, like black paint this side this one does not have that nor on the other side of it this one seems to have a glob there and a glob there maybe you stepped in something maybe it's supposed to be like that pretty awesome and it's the same type of head like Again, they released those headstands, but they didn't really... Why were they making this figure like this? 
instead of giving him a ball, you know, a real ball joint to, uh, to put on. So, like, what sucks, though, is, like, like, I would love to, like, it's just like, hmm, hmm, but his arm doesn't really, because that double elbow thing doesn't really function the way it should, the closest I can get to his face to do that is like that, and you can actually see the spacing, like, that's unfortunate, because he has that whole stern, puzzled look in his face, why can't I? I just want to, you know, have him pose it. Hmm. <laughs> but whatever. I guess that's just me. You know, you can make him uh, super stern and hold on to the shotgun that his hands are like. Oh, that's hard plastic. Okay, that's not cool. So his fingers are really, really hard plastic. So there's no really bending. So like trying to get this shotgun in his hand is it's just impossible like that's that's a really hard plastic like if i try to force it you know i'm gonna have to warm up uh warm it up with some hot water or something because yeah this is not gonna just it's not gonna work because normally i pop it in like so then sort of flex it back pop the fingers around but it it doesn't wah 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 you just go ahead and put the see now this one the shotgun is it's very snug and then as I slid that through it just scuffed up some of the paint and, sh and stuff I'm trying to trying to retract and watch my language but you can see I scuffed it up what the f that's that's disappointing but it is what it is. This guy just needs to be played with and just needs to be broken in. Get the plastic all right. So that's really what it sort of boils down to is... Oh, and see that hand? Those fingers are really nice like that because he holds the sh the shotgun. Wow. He holds the chainsaw very nice with this uh, with his hands being that hard plastic and bent like that. That is just really, really nice looking. So you can just be all stern and be like, hmm, hmm, how am I going to cut this tree down? Hmm. And that sums up my unboxing and review of NECA's Ash Williams Asylum Edition, <laughs> Ash vs. the Evil Dead figure. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel because I'm going to keep pumping out some content and I'm sure you'll find something that you'll like. And uh, if you guys want to keep up to date on your imports and collectibles, make sure you follow and join up with Toy Co. Toys and Collectibles. The website's down below. Check it out. If you see something you'd like, get it. Use my promo code UNBOXTOYCO. That'll save you 5% on your entire purchase. And if anybody tried it and it didn't work, it is case sensitive. I found that out. So it's all caps, UNBOX TOYCO. So make sure you use caps. And uh, there are two TOYCO groups now. One is the TOYCO pre-order group so join up with that group because that keeps you up to date on pre-orders gets you those great deals on those and then there's the separate toyco group which lets you guys talk about figures talk about your toyco orders just like have a good time in that uh facebook group all the links are down below so feel free to check them all out and as always have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day